Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this U Euphoria which is a new smartphone by you and for the price it packs some pretty decent specs and as you can see here it gives us an idea about the specs it comes with Cyanogen OS 12 and uh, it's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 chipset and uh, the good thing is it has 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage and it also has 4G LTE support. As you can see they have specified the 4G LTE bands and all the 4G LTE bands are there that are applicable for India. I will be testing this device with 4G LTE and it also says it has enhanced audio and Corning Gorilla Glass uh, 3. And regarding the SAR rating, here it says the SAR rating on the head is 0.4. One, so that's pretty decent, I would say. Uh, and uh, the model name is the U5010. And this device is going to be sold in India via Amazon.in, and it's going to be sold at rupees seven thousand. So let's quickly uh, open this up and let's have a first look at this device. Uh, so here we have the U Euphoria itself. I'll just keep this thing to the side for now and. We also have looks like some pamphlets and booklets and uh, we have a screen guard and some it says some special features so let's quickly look at this one also and this gives you basic idea I would say about uh, Cyanogen uh, mod uh, so basic quick start guide and we also have the standard accessories uh, we have the battery which is a 2230 milliamp hour battery the micro usb to usb cable uh, this is the headset let's quickly have a look at the headset also and uh, uh, very interesting uh, earbuds i would say uh, it's like the apple uh, earbuds uh, in terms of uh, looks i would say and uh, we also have a button here and a microphone uh, to take our end calls and uh, this is the power adapter which is again it says you branding and it says uh, 5 volts at 1.5 amps and according to you they said that this device supports quick charging so i'll definitely test that out so let me keep these things to the side and let's look at the device itself so here is the device itself the euphoria and again here it gives us uh, basic info uh, it says it has an 8 megapixel uh, camera uh, front facing is 5 megapixel and uh, the cpu is the snapdragon 410 and it has Corning Gorilla Glass and 4G LTE support. So let me take this out. And uh, yeah, this is the back. And uh, the back is soft, uh, I would say rubberish plastic feel it gives. Uh, let's pop this out and let's put in the battery. And this comes out and we have two SIM slots. And uh, I believe both the slots are 4G enabled. And you can also add a micro SD card up to 32 gigs. So let's pop in the battery. And uh, the rear facing camera is an 8 megapixel uh, shooter and it has a very interesting design as you can see. And uh, this, uh, the U is calling this a Saturn design. It's just nothing, just a marketing term. And uh, this is the LED flash that we have. So I've put in the battery and no creaking noise or anything like that. It feels actually really good. Uh, one thing I like is this is actually metal. Uh, so feels actually pretty premium in looks considering the price point of the device uh, and let's try to power it on and this is a pretty interesting design uh, the power button is here in the middle and it's followed by the volume rockers so the middle one is the power and it gave me haptic feedback so let me give you a physical overview by the time it boots and uh, on the top we have the 3.5 mm uh, headphone jack slot uh, again here the power button and the volume rockers again this is metal so feels pretty good and on the bottom we have the micro usb slot and on this end actually we have nothing uh, so pretty clean design i would say in terms of design and i really like this back uh, uh, it does not feel very plasticky uh, it is plastic but gives you that soft uh, rubberish a feel I would say and uh, regarding the screen it sports a 5 inch screen uh, which is a 720p HD screen uh, the front facing camera is supposed to be a 5 megapixel shooter and uh, it is upgrading this is pretty strange uh, this is the first boot and we are at the setup 
So let me just quickly just set this up. And this is the Wi-Fi setup and it just has support for 2.4 gigahertz band, not for the five gigahertz band. But again, we can't complain considering the price point of this device. So I'll quickly just connect and we'll continue. And it is connected to my Wi-Fi network and it says the SIM card is missing. I'll put the SIM card later on and I'll also test it with 4G because now we have 4G in Hyderabad if you're using Airtel. So I'll, I'll test it with 4G later on. I'll just skip this. We can set up our uh, Google account. We can also create a Synergen account if you want. Yeah, it's just doing this. Yeah, we are done and we are set up. Yeah, we are done. And it's applied a theme, I would say. Some sort of a theme. It's a bit laggy as of now. But let it just load the widget. Yeah, it loaded the widget. Again, it's running Sanogen uh, <coughs> mod. And we have the, we can adjust the brightness. Let's go to the settings. Uh, let's first go to display. And we have adaptive brightness. That means it has auto brightness setting. And we also have this uh, double tap to wake. So I like these features. And we also have the double tap to uh, sleep so those features are nice to have let's put it on two minutes so let's just see about and as you can see it says the model number is u5010 and the android version is 5.0.2 which is android lollipop and uh, regarding storage also uh, we do get ample internal storage this model comes with 16 gigs of internal storage and as you can see out of that we get about 10.93 gigabytes of space uh, free and we can also add a micro sd card up to 32 gigs so storage should not be an issue with this device let's just go back now it's uh, it is pretty responsive i would say uh, let's quickly also uh, check the camera on this, it's supposed to be an 8 megapixel shooter. So let's bring some objects here. Let me bring this battery and some other stuff. And no location, thank you. And it says, yeah. So I took the uh, picture fairly quickly, I would say. Actually, the shutter speed is pretty quick. Let's see these pictures that we took. These are some of the pictures that we took. Not the sharpest. Let me see, uh, see this one. Uh, this is decent. But again, I will be testing the, uh, yeah, there is a slight blur, but maybe my hands were shaking when I was taking those pictures. But I'll be testing the camera a lot more. Some of you have also asked me to do the 4G test. So I have put my SIM card and I also changed the theme. It's very easy to change the themes. And as you can see, we are on 4G LTE. Let me just show you. Uh, let's just go to any website. Let's say tech uh, spot com. And uh, this is 4G LTE in Hyderabad, as you can see. It's loading it actually very well uh, but uh, let's also do a quick speed test some of you have asked me to do that and uh, let's just go to the settings let's chill, uh, select a server let's take beam telecom and let's do this test again this is in indoor conditions uh, this is in my office uh, so th this is the speeds that we are getting actually we're getting very good speeds about 20 megabit down because just yesterday I posted another video regarding 4G LTE test and in indoor conditions in the same location I was just getting about 16 megabits down. So initial impressions pretty good 4G speeds on this uh, U Euphoria. If you are interested in the 4G speeds do check out the uh, other video that I posted regarding 4G with various other devices. So initial impressions looks like the speeds that we are going to get on 4G is also very good. So that's it for now for this very quick unboxing and first look at this U Euphoria. If you have any specific questions around this device, do post them in the YouTube comments and I'll try to include them in my review. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.